So as promised, the sun has hidden away today. We found this gorgeous park up just on this lake here on the edge of a nice big town. So everything we need here. So we're just gonna hide in the van today. There's supposed to be thunderstorms later and get some work done. And that's it. standing here for the past 10 minutes just trying to figure out how to introduce this place and we do not know how to pronounce the name of this place Horium? Orion? Oron? Orion? Horion? I, I may have got it or not at all basically this place goes by three different names and we have no idea how to say it so this settlement dates back to the 6th century BC, probably the oldest place we've been to. And look, the houses are still standing, the walls are still up. Mad! was attacked by the Romans in 167 BC so a lot of it was destroyed and they rebuilt it. The Greeks settled here a bit longer and then they all, it was just abandoned after that. This place is very easy to get to, it's completely free to visit, open all year. It's incredible, just incredible. building had a second story. Look, you can see where the, the beams used to be. Crazy. In year 167 BC, the Roman Empire attacked Oron and destroyed it. And this building here, as far as I can tell, it looks as if it's showing signs of the Romans having attacked this place. You can see along the wall here there's holes where they would have had floor beams stuck into the wall. And you can see bricks jutting out from the side. So it looks like this building would have been wider. From what I can tell, I think Romans have been hurling boulders up the hill with catapults, smashed the right side of this building, and a rock hit this section and completely shifted all of those boulders inwards. Like you can, crazy that you can just still see that after all this time. At least I think that's what's going on. Now this big pit here, this was how the town got their water, so all the rainwater would gather here and because this was at a high point they could pump it down into the houses and every, everywhere that they needed it. So really they kind of had their own plumbing system as far back as 600 BC, crazy. Kind of looks a bit like a swimming pool. The steps over here so they could get down and clean it out. We're just marvelling at how well preserved this threshold is. You can see the grooves along it. Maybe a post there? Would the door have met there? Indentations. It's a bit eroded. 
given the 2,000 years of neglect, but it kind of looks like the door frame would have fitted up around there. That last park up was beautiful, it was so quiet and amazing to be parked so close to the oldest thing we've ever been to. Amazing. We're now moving on to park up next to a lake. It'll probably be dark when we get there but we'll see tomorrow. surface of the lake. It's a low mist hanging and it's an ice cold night. The sky's full of stars. It is just so beautiful. And it's been raining so all the water's dripping out the trees into the into the lake. So this park up, amazing, magical by night and gorgeous by day. We're parked on the edge of a natural spring so the water apparently stays about 11 degrees all year round, no matter how hot it is outside. So it's very cold. Scott is not up for a swim. Not feeling it. He doesn't <laughs> want to go. I might dip my toes in, see how it feels. There's a funny kind of rope swing out there, so you can swing into the water. You're not even up for that, are you, Scott? Uh, go for the rope swing, but maybe not jumping into the water. <laughs> Come on, we'll show you around. good swim if you don't want to get wet. Also the rope doesn't smell good. <laughs> Too far now, it's so deep. Time. But it felt amazing. 
so refreshing, so pure and clean. I had to pass on it, I just wasn't feeling it. Scott's Don't just... want to be cold. <laughs> Comment if Scott should have got in. So a little update. Um, Scott has been for the past few hours researching how we're going to manage to get mobile data in Turkey. So it costs how much per gig on our sims? We're getting three pounds per megabyte, never mind gigabyte. Three pounds per megabyte of data. So we cannot use our sims. The problem is, once we cross the border, how do we find a sim card shop in Turkey without any data when we've been relying on Google Maps to take us everywhere? So that's the conundrum that's going on just now. Scott's trying to solve that. Here he is. How are you doing that, Scott? I'm using Google Translate to translate sites that are in Turkish. <laughs> so he's using my phone with the Italian sim, which is on roaming, but his sim's run out of data. So he's tethering to my phone to get a bit of data to research and then using my translate app to translate anyway that's yeah this is this is how we're figuring things out yeah <laughs> it's tricky so that's going on over there and in the meantime i have made some roasted aubergine they've been roasting in the oven for two hours now lovely and crisp and we have some fake chicken some vegan vegan chicken i think it's like tofu chicken it's delicious and some gnocchi and i've made a tomato sauce so we're gonna have that for dinner this guy's gonna take a break from this nonsense Gonna have to. There's only so much of this you can do. <laughs> we downloaded some Netflix earlier, so we'll watch some shows and eat our dinner. We're on top of the world. Not gonna lie, it was terrifying driving up here. Lots of hairpin bends. 100% worth it. Little tiny little van. So tiny. No, there. So tiny. <laughs> it felt massive on the roads, but it looks pretty small now. So it's very cold up here. Yeah. Very, Definitely been in warmer places. Very nippy. But we wanted to come somewhere peaceful and quiet for the weekend. So here we are. common problem we've been facing is when we're going to these park hubs. Google Maps suggests a route and it won't suggest any other route. It just thinks you should go that way. It just thinks you should, you should go that way. So luckily this time we were out ahead of it and I dropped a pin at the road that you're supposed to take. So we just drove to the end of that and then we knew we had to go up there. But I think this is the road that it wanted us to take. not really a road. Yeah, very good Google Maps, very good. There was a time a couple of years ago where we followed Google Maps to a place where the whole family was meeting up and Google Maps just took us along about seven miles of complete off-roading and by dumb luck we had an SUV car at the time yeah. so we were able to do it. So we survived. But yeah, we've got the dash cam footage, maybe we'll show you. <laughs> maybe we'll put that together one day. <laughs> We chose to park up on this beautiful hill with the idea that it would be nice and quiet for the weekend and we stayed there Saturday and there was one car came up, some tourists came to look at the chapel. Sunday morning comes but then some cars arrived up the hill and a man was driving round and round the van and there was a guy with a gun. There was a guy with a gun <laughs> and it was just, I don't know, like we appreciate there it's their homeland you know we're just visitors there but we, we don't know what's going on we don't know what's going on we don't know if we're intruding so we figured it was best to get away from there today so that we're not i don't know if they're having a shooting party or mm. if they were just didn't like us being there we felt bad we had to get off that hill um so we've come down here to get a shower but i've come for a shower scott's come for a shower I stink. it looks a bit grimy i don't think i'll go in there Southern Greece looks pretty nice weather-wise just now. 
Does. But we can't go there because the Schengen visa is coming to an end. We've only got a few more weeks and we want to reset it. So we need to get to Turkey to let that reset. It's a shame. I want to explore this country more. It's yeah. so beautiful. Greece is lovely. It's amazing. And people are so kind and happy to see you here. Except for the man with the gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was happy to see us. But we think the best option for Greece is to head to Turkey long enough to reset our Schengen visa. Head back to Greece. Springtime, when mm. it's starting to warm up and do a proper explore of this country. So that's the plan just now and it could change. It could change and we probably won't do unless it's something really interesting, not a huge amount of filming over the next few days. We're gonna do some travel, batter yeah. across the Turkey. It's gonna be raining. We'll see what we see along the way <laughs> and if we find interesting stuff, we'll whap the camera out. Yeah, so I think that's travel plans as pretty as much it, it goes so far. East. Gotta head east. Want to be south. Gotta head east. Mm. We've been hanging around in the north, say northwest of Greece. Yeah. Because we had a dentist appointment. So even when you're traveling full time, it's important to keep your teeth up to date. Nice and clean now. Yeah, so we left there, not yesterday, the day before. Yeah, that's it. Mm. To come to Thessaloniki, which is a gorgeous city. We found this amazing park up in this nature reserve. So we're going to rest here for a few days, get some work done and just take in the surroundings. Come on, we'll show you around. 